Hey, we have been on the road for two days and we got in late last night and so we are all exhausted. The kids are crazy so I'm hiding in the bathroom to video. <laughs> so I want to tell you a story today. Um, something that happened a few years ago and um, this I'm going to read to you. This Psalms 37 26. Oh, good people always lend freely to others and their children are a blessing. Uh, this goes with the story I'm going to tell you. Um, and I'm going to do it really fast. Um, I think it was about two years ago. I believe my kids were four, five, and seven. And so my two little ones are 17 months apart. And then the next two are um, 22 months apart. So very, very close in age. And when they were very young, if you have had children really close in age, it is very difficult. So we are in Walmart with our zoo in the basket, keeping our kids um, contained with the little food that we can fit around them. And this sweet young mom asks us, says, excuse me, can I ask you a question? And we said, sure, what's up? And she asked about how, how old they were apart, I believe, and hers were very, very similar, but they were much younger. So baby, like maybe one, two, so like two, three, five, um, or one, two, I mean, it was, they were very young. Um, I could tell she was exhausted. I could tell that she was struggling and she said, just please tell me that it gets better, that it gets easier. And we kind of, uh, you know, stammered and kind of, um, well, uh, cause you know, we were at that point, we were still struggling with three little kids and, um, we still are at six, seven and nine but it's just different struggles. And so we tried to explain that to her and we both said, yeah, you know, it. I, we believe that it does get easier, that as they get older and you're not changing diapers and breastfeeding and all of that, yes, it, there, it does get better and it does get easier and it does get, and maybe you start to get more sleep. <laughs> That's the first thing I think of. But um, what bothered me about that interaction is that uh, once we said our goodbyes and we moved on through Walmart, I kept thinking, I kept feeling like I should have given her my number or I should have asked for hers. And I just, I, I, I kind of made up my mind that if I saw her again in Walmart, that I would do that. And I never saw her again and I've never seen her again. Um, but I wish that I had given more. I wish that I had... Um, lent freely to her my advice my time my number so that I could have been there for her had she ever needed it because um, I could tell that she was suffering and I just wish that I could have done more or just offered more um, I believe that that we aren't alone and that God is here for us but I also believe that we are here for each other and that we should do more um, offer more uh, to each other. I think that's that God wants us to take care of each other and to love each other. Um, the song that I have for you today is called Carry Your Troubles and it's just an intro to um, Jordan Felice's album. I talked about a song of his earlier in the week and I really like him and I've been listening to him. And um, the beginning of this says, Life can be heavy. Life can be a heavy load when you think you're all alone, but there's something you should know. There's a place to let it go, um, and then it goes on, but I like that first line. Life can be, heavy, be a heavy load when you think you're all alone. Life can be a heavy load when you think you're all alone. Well, guess what? The great thing is that we are not all alone. Not only do we have God, we have each other, but we, we have to do our part and reach out to each other. When you feel that little nudge to reach out to someone or call someone or give someone your number, please do it. Have a great night. Love you guys.